Hey everyone, it's Rob from Hypop and welcome back to another video. In this one, we are unboxing and taking a closer look at a brand new light from Amaran. It's the Ace 25C. So we have the Ace 25C here by Amaran, AKA Aperture, which is a new compact LED light that they've just released. They have this in two versions. They've got it in the X version, which is a bicolor. And they have it in a C version, which is an RGBWW. It also comes in five different colors. You've got black, white, silver, pink, and green. So different colors to cater to the content creator market. And it is supposedly the best in class in terms of the compact LED market space. So there's a few features on the top of the box here. Firstly, you've got RGB control, you have CCT control. The CCT control is actually a huge range. It's 2,300 Kelvin to 10,000 Kelvin. So you have a pretty wide range there. You also have control via the Amaran app, as well as the Citus Link app. And you have up to about 32 watts of power and you have USB Type-C power delivery on the light. And lastly, you have the ACE lock, which is their own unique locking system for this light. Let's jump in and unbox this and take a look at what's inside. Okay, the first things we see are some Amaran stickers as well as a warranty card. Then you have the light fixture itself, which is attached to a magnetic diffuser dome. And towards the bottom of the box here, we have an Allen key on the inside here, as well as a Type-C to Type-C cable. And you have the Amaran Ace Lock to Cold Shoe Adapter. So this is the Ace 25C. And as you can see, it is a palm-sized compact LED light. And it is a fairly neat design. Just going through the physical features here, you have some cooling vents on the top there, as well as the sides. You have a fan at the back here and the specs state that it reaches at about 32 decibels when it's used on boost mode and that's its loudest setting. Um, you also have a somewhat opaque screen here in front of the LEDs which act as a diffuser. However, they call this the bare bulb. This is the actual diffuser that's included and that's all magnetic. So you have a magnetic attachment system here for the light. On the back here, you can see there's a bit that protrudes out and this is uh, essentially the battery compartment, I'm assuming. On the inside, there's a battery that's 4,500 milliamps and approximately 33.33 watt hours. But this back surface here is actually made from rubber and it's in fact magnetic, which is great. You're starting to see a lot of these compact lights uh, being magnetic. The ability to mount this uh, onto certain places, whether that be a ceiling, where if there's any metal in the ceiling or on the side, on the wall or something, it's a really unique feature and a good feature to have. You have a quarter inch thread mounting point at the top there, which is great to see. And on the side, you have some controls. You've got uh, the cycle button here that's going through the different settings. You've got the on off switch and you have the type C port there. Now the Type-C port, this light actually supports uh, power delivery, so you can charge this fairly fast. Um, and you can get a, a, about a 70 minute running time when using this light at full output. However, if you use it on silent mode, it goes to about four hours and 45 minutes. So that's uh, a pretty substantial time length there if you're needing a light source uh, on silent mode. Now on the bottom here is their unique ACE lock system. And this is a somewhat quick release system that's unique to this light. So it's cool to see that they've invented or you know implemented a type of new system here. And the way that this works is it's simply a magnetic system. So it's a metal plate at the bottom. You line it up, it kind of snaps on immediately, but you can see it doesn't line up. You just need to kind of click it into place and that's now lined up and secure on the light. So it clamps in, it has a sort of clamping mechanism. So once it magnetically locks in, it clamps in and that's now really secure on the light fixture there, which is great because you don't want your light fixture flinging around or flying off and obviously damaging. Now on the back here, you have a blue button that releases that quick release system and you now have access to the light for your run and gun type setups. Now this would be really useful if you have this mounted on a hot shoe of a camera. You have the light on top, just like that. And you need to use the light for a run and gun type of scenario. Maybe you need to hand hold it or move it elsewhere, stick it onto something with a mag magnetic mount. You now have access to it and then you can simply 
plug it back to the cold shoe adapter there fairly quickly. Now on the bottom of the cold shoe adapter is actually a quarter inch thread there. So that means you can mount this on top of a light stand or a tripod or some sort of mount. Maybe you have a cage system and you wanna have this as a light source for your cage system. And that's really nifty to have too. Now going through some of the light metrics for the ACE 25C, firstly you have a TLC I rating of 95 and a CRI rating of 95 plus. You also have an output of about 32 watts, which is equivalent to about 1,500 lux when it's at the 4,300 Kelvin color temperature at one meter. And that's when it's bare bulb. So without this diffuser dome here. And the light itself has a pretty cool feature, which is a USB type C reverse charge. So you can actually use this as a power source uh, in a pinch. So if you, need to charge up your phone, for example, you can plug in a USB Type-C cable and plug that into your phone and you can use this as a portable battery bank as well. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it's kind of like an all-in-one content creators light slash tech gadget, which is perfect for your light kit. Now I'm just gonna run through how to operate the light really quickly. So there's a slide button here for the on off switch, which I think is a nice touch. I personally prefer a slide button rather than a press to hold button. Sometimes you can mistakenly press a button there and then it turns on and then you drain your battery. Now, as soon as you turn on here, you have a display and the display shows what mode you're currently in, the battery, if Bluetooth is on, and then obviously some settings based on the mode. So you can jump and press the top button here, which is kind of like a back button or a menu scroll button. And you have the scroll wheel on the top here. You can see the screen's all in color, which is great. So it really makes it legible and easy to read and kind of at a glance, you can see what setting you're at. So from here, you can go through all the different settings. Firstly, you have your CCT mode, and this is the mode here that you have intensity and you have your green magenta color shift. You've got your CCT and let's go back into CCT. Press down on the dial here and that brings you into that particular setting. So once again, you can go all the way from 2300 Kelvin up to 10,000 Kelvin there. Okay, and then you can obviously change your intensity, your green magenta color shift, and that's it for that setting. Moving on, you've got HSI mode. HSI is your hue, saturation, and intensity. And here we have intensity at 50%. You've got your saturation at 100%. And say, for example, we want this particular red to be reduced in saturation. You can reduce that and you can see it fades out the red slightly all the way up to a white when it's on zero. And you have your hue. So you can change your hue based on 360 degrees of color. You can use a reference chart, uh, there's plenty online, but you can see as we're cycling through, it changes the color of the light. And you have lastly, the intensity, which we mentioned in the beginning. Next one you have here is RGB. And RGB is just dialing in your red, green, and blue values, as well as the intensity to get that specific color you're after. So I've got a kind of green aqua color right now going on and you can change those values to really dial in what it is that you're after. Now it's kind of more of a pinkish or an off-white. And effects, uh, so here you've got your standard effects, but you can actually go into these effects here and it will change and change the type of fireworks that you're after, for example, the frequency, the intensity of that firework, and also the mode. So if you want it to be white or you want it to be color. So do you want color fireworks? That's all in there as well. Yeah, faulty bulb, lightning, TV, pulsing, strobe, explosion, fire, paparazzi, welding, cop car, party lights, and quite a few there. And you have your Bluetooth. And Bluetooth is, uh, you can press the reset there and that kind of just hold and then it will reset your Bluetooth settings. Gives it an ID indicator there uh, for the Bluetooth and that's the device indicator. So you can actually jump into the Amaran app or into the Citus Link app, sync this up into a scene, and then you can use this as part of a wider lighting configuration or just a single light if you want. Okay, now moving on, we have custom. So custom is kind of cool because you can actually um, set up some custom effects for these lights as well. And it's a lot easier to control this all in the app. So take a look at that. I think it makes it really versatile for having these different lighting effects with a single light source here. And you have LNG, which is your language, and you can go from English or Chinese. And you have output, 
and you can turn this onto output mode which means that this will now act as a power bank and you have your boost mode and you can turn your boost mode on and that will reduce the lifespan of the battery or the the light source or the power source currently so it will reduce the battery and drain it quite fast when when boost mode is on so we can have that off for now and of course fan and you can change it from smart to silent so when it's on smart right now i can see the fans actually going um, that just automatically turns on when it needs to and in silent it will turn off completely so a couple of things to take note of with this light here Firstly, you have a beam angle of about 50 degrees for the LED beads there. So it's not a super wide throw, it's probably about a mid throw there. And the light itself weighs about 325 grams, so it's really lightweight for its size and output. It also has dimensions of about 11.8 centimeters by 7.7 .7 centimeters tall, so very compact light once again. And lastly, you have the Type-C charging there, which supports power delivery, which means you can actually get from a completely dead battery from zero to 90% within about 40 minutes or so, which is a great feature, especially if you're in a pinch and you need a light source fairly quickly. Now, overall, this light is a really good entry by Amaran here. I feel like there's not too many that have all of those sort of features packed into one, especially with the Ace Lock mount. The uh, use, usability, the user friendliness, I think uh, the versatility of the light, the functions that includes the ability to have HSI, RGB, the custom shortcuts, different mounting options, um, compact light available in uh, the bicolor as well as the RGB WW. Here in Australia, it retails for the, uh, the X version or the bicolor version retails for $115, or that's equivalent to about 69 US dollars and the C version or the RGB version it goes for about 165 Australian dollars or about 99 US so a really affordable light and I think that's probably where it wins in terms of its output its features and then once again its price so if you're after a compact light just like this I think this is definitely one to consider so that was our quick unboxing and review of the Amaran Ace 25C for more videos just like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell to be updated of any new content we release, leave a like on the video if it's helped you, feel free to leave down in the comments section below your thoughts or if you have any questions about the Amaran 25C, follow us on social media, the links are down below, and visit our website, highpop.com.au. Thanks for watching.